Hi, I'm George, TSG's Open Content Product Manager. In this demo, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a case management interface using Open Content Admin. So here I am in Open Content case for an insurance claim. Um, and this happens to be in Alfresco, but the interface is the same for other ECM backends as well. Um, so I wanted to show a completed open content case interface just to show the different sections. So up here in the top left, uh, we have what's called uh, the stage info section where we can show uh, some properties uh, that are important for the case, uh, just kind of at a glance here. Then we also have some what we call folder actions. So these are actions that are uh, executed on the case folder, like viewing properties or adding documents. Then we have a section down here for related objects, and this could contain a listing of the documents in the folder uh, separated by a uh, tag or category, um, but it also could include uh, related folders. So this is an example of we're looking at a claim, but we want to tie to its related policy case folder. Then over here on the right, uh, we have this right side section that can display multiple things. So right now, this is actually showing the view all documents action um, for this case, where we can see the documents uh, listed in this tabular format. Um, but if we view a document, uh, we can also see um, the document viewer. So this is another section we'll set up, uh, the doc viewer, which displays the document in our chosen viewer, as well as actions for the document up above. So now I'm going to switch over to a different environment here. Um, and in this environment, uh, we've set up a search for claims and claim documents. Uh, but clicking on this just takes us to nowhere because we haven't set up our actual uh, case management view for claims. So I'm going to head over to the admin, and uh, we're going to head over to what's called the stage config. The stage is the uh, view that Open Content Case uses, and we're going to create a new one, and we'll just call it Insurance Claim. And now we can uh, set up some. Uh, I'll just add a quick label there. Um, and we can look at our individual configs. So the first one that we're going to look at is the stage info module. And uh, we can choose whether to show properties for the current folder or document. Um, in a case management view, we would typically always show on the case folder. Um, but for other um, applications that are more document centric, we can also put properties for the current document up there as well. Um, so we're going to find our case uh, folder that we want to use, which is claim. And then down here, we can choose what what properties to display. So uh, we'll choose a claim number, claimant name, and a couple of uh, policy. So we'll choose policy number and policy year. Um, you can choose as many properties as you want here. Um, we typically recommend three to five, just so the area doesn't get too big. Um, down here, we can change what the tab title is, so it'll change the browser tab based on uh, metadata in the claim, uh, but we will skip that for now. So we're going to go ahead and save that, and we'll switch from stage info um, to uh, related objects. So in here, we're going to add a couple of related objects. We'll just add the uh, claim documents just to display uh, documents in this claim, in the current claim. And we're going to do that based on folder tags. And we'll say these would be uh, claim documents. And then in here, um, this just shows the uh, relationship information. Um, and we will display the document name. Uh, the link resolver allows us to display other uh, views when you click on a link, but we'll just leave it to stage, which is the default. Um, info block lets us display other attributes um, in sort of an eye icon next to each document, but we'll skip that. 
And then there's some additional options here that we can uh, use to control how this looks, but we'll just go ahead and accept the defaults. Um, so now we're going to add another one. So rather than just showing documents in the folder, we want to show uh, related uh, a related folder. So we'll say related policies. And we're going to do this one based on a query. So this is sort of common metadata between the current claim and any related claim. We can also base it on an actual repository relationship. Uh, but for this, we'll just say query based. And the result of this is going to be a policy. So now for related policies. We can again see that it's a query based relation and we have a new section here for the query configuration. So all query is, is true. Um, we're going to display the results where, uh, again, we're looking for common metadata. So um, where the policy number is equal to the policy number. So we have to type in the uh, alfresco name in this case, since we're on alfresco for that attribute from the current folder. So essentially this is just saying that the policy number on the current claim folder matches the policy number on the uh, target folder, which in this case is the policy. We're also gonna tie it to the year because we don't want this to come back with policies for uh, years in the past as well. So we'll just do the same thing here. So policy number, uh, let's see, our, sorry, we'll say policy year. Policy year from the current folder. So what this is going to do, it's going to search for any policy folder that has the same policy number and policy year as the current claim displayed. And we'll just do the same thing here and sort and show the name. Um, and then this is the same. We don't need an info block and we'll just leave our additional options the same as the defaults. So we could add other relationship types if we want, but we're just gonna skip down to folder actions. Um, so you can group folder actions. Uh, we only need one, so we'll just call it folder actions and add it. And then within here, we can add different actions. So we'll just add a few. Um, the first one that we're gonna add is uh, view all documents. So this is the one that we want to display automatically when the folder loads. Um, so by by choosing this, we can choose the, the label for it. Um, we can also say how we want it to display as a modal, or in this case, we want it to be right size and full pane, which is the default for this action. And we wanna say that this auto launches. So this is gonna tell uh, the system to when, when the user comes into a claim folder to automatically launch this action in a, in, on the right side as a full pane action. Um, so we're going to choose the insurance claim. Um, the insurance claim uh, table view. So this is the search config that will it will use to display, you know, what table uh, properties to display. Um, and then these indicator icons can be set. Um, we usually tend to do that from within the uh, uh, search config um, because it's faster. But if you have a search config that doesn't pull back attributes that you need to do these indicator icons, you can uh, choose. Um, to do that here. So next one we want to add is bulk upload, which is the add documents action. So we'll add in bulk upload. And uh, this one again, we want to be a right side full pane action. We don't need to auto launch it. Um, and the form that we want to use is create object insurance claim. And there's different sections in here. Um, this is one of our most complex actions, different configuration options for, um, uh, for this action. Um, we do want to copy attributes in the folder. So this is how it knows to pull common attributes from the 
claim folder to any claim documents that we add. Um, and we're just going to accept the defaults for most of this. Um, uh, we don't need any scanning. Uh, we're not processing requirement required tags. We don't need uh, folder notes integration. Um, we do want an indexing mode. So this allows us to see the document um, as it is being uh, uploaded to the system. So we're just going to give it a folder. This is just a folder in the repository that we've created to hold these documents. Um, and we're going to choose the open annotate mode of indexer for uh, the view. And you can choose certain file types to whitelist. Uh, we're just going to allow everything by default. Um, the other one I'm going to add here, um, again, we could add other ones, but the other one I'll add here is folder notes. Um, this one we do also want as a full pane right side action. And the only thing that we're going to set in here, we have a form for creating notes, um, but we will just accept the defaults for everything else. So the next thing we want to set up is our doc viewer. Um, so this is the configuration that this, this determines how a document will be displayed in the system. Um, so we have some primary viewers here. Um, you can choose which ones to enable or disable. Um, we're just going to use Open Annotate, so we'll turn off PDFJS. Um, you can choose for Open Annotate uh, what mode to come into by default. So Open Viewer is sort of the very fast viewer that disables the annotation views. Um, we're going to want annotation by default, so we'll leave it in annotation mode. Um, we do want video. Um, image viewer, um, we're actually going to disable that. The, this is actually deprecated in favor of Open Annotate. And uh, we'll go ahead and disable HTML viewing as well. Um, these secondary viewers basically just uh, mean that if, based on the format of the document that you're um, viewing, if it can't handle any of these viewers, it'll fall down to these secondary viewers. Um, so here we're going to enable external launch and choose open annotate as our external launch. Um, you can choose the browser, like for example, if you wanted to make that external launch open in browser and automatically print, you can do that. Uh, we'll just leave it as open annotate. Uh, so this section here allows me to set up the actions that are available for each document. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a few. Um, we'll say we want view properties and view versions here real quick. So jumping back to view properties, um, uh, by default, view properties is, again, set up as a right side action, meaning that it'll display alongside the document, which is what we want. Um, and for this one, we'll just uh, choose all the defaults, but choose our view properties form. View versions. Um, is set up by default as a modal action. We'll leave it that way. Um, this is the setting. If we have WorkShare compare to compare versions, you can choose whether or not to include it. Um, we'll say yes, that you can compare versions, and yes, that users are allowed to revert versions. So now we're going to add some of the editing uh, actions. So we'll allow checkout, check-in, and cancel checkout. So checkout is just a simple action. We'll actually just have all these defaults. Um, Check-in will enable these defaults as well. Um, but down here, we're able to disable certain check-in actions. So we do not want users to be able to check in as the same version. And let's say the same thing for major versions. We'll allow minor versions and will not require comments on check-in. Cancel checkout, again, all the defaults. We're not setting up a cloud service here, so we'll say no, don't check to remove a, a document from the cloud service upon cancel checkout. And we'll add a couple other ones here. We'll just add send notification. And um, this one, the link resolver is stage. I, all of these should be good and uh, we'll allow users with delete access to delete documents. 
and we'll say we do not need folder notes. Um, this will, um, you can audit from OCMS, um, depending on your back end, it may, uh, you may be able to set up delete audits um, kind of on the back end, um, and we'll just leave that off for now. So I will just go ahead and save here. And that should be it. We've set up our stage config for our insurance claim. So let's head back to search. And we'll search for our claim again. And now we'll go ahead and click on this claim and we'll check out our, our new open content case interface. So here's the setup. We've set up our uh, folder actions over here and our um, claims uh, information and stage info. We see our claims documents split out by tag and we even see a related policy for based on that query uh, relationship. The view all documents is loaded by default. We can click add documents to or folder notes to get to those actions. And if we go ahead and choose a document, we will see the document loaded in open annotate with the actions that we've configured here. So for example, for view properties showing as a right side action and view versions displaying as a modal with our revert and compare options that we set up. So let's say we wanna make a change here. Here I've noticed that this says default label. Maybe we don't want this folder actions to display and we forgot to add view properties for the case itself. We have view properties for the document, but not for the case. So let's head back into the admin and we'll head to our insurance claim stage config. And here, Instead of default label, let's change this to claim properties. And in our related objects, or sorry, in folder actions, there's a checkbox here to say show the label. We don't need that. Go ahead and take that out. And let's add the uh, view properties action here as well so that we can see our claim properties. So here um, we do not want this to be a right side action because we, we want it to display over something like view all documents. Uh, so we'll change this from right side to modal. We can change the size here. We'll just leave it at large um, and we'll go ahead and choose our view properties form and we'll say we don't need any of these. Click. So now I'm going to head back to the dashboard and I'll just from recent folders click on the same claim we've been looking at and there are our changes. So we can see claim properties here and the uh, label went away and now we have a view properties action that is displayed on the actions uh, for the claim. Well, that's it for this demo. Check out our blog and website for more information about the Open Content Management Suite. Thanks for watching.